Hello, and thank you for this opportunity to speak. My name is Chris Buckridge. I work for the RIPE NCC, and I'm speaking today on behalf of the Number Resource Organization, or NRO, which is the umbrella organization for the five regional internet registries, Afrinic, APNIC, ARIN, LACNIC, and the RIPE NCC. The RIRs and their communities are vital venues for practical internet governance discussions based around our core multi-stakeholder principles of openness, inclusivity, and transparency. All RIRs have been part of the WISIS process and have contributed to the IGF's activities since its inception. Today, I wanted to provide a brief update on internet governance activities in the RIR communities, as well as our primary focus of effectively managing administration of the global internet number resource pool the RIRs also facilitate a range of events and fora to discuss issues relating to government regulation, cybersecurity, and other internet governance developments and trends. The discussions in RIR communities over the past 12 months have highlighted that internet governance has moved decisively from an academic question to a pressing practical and operational concern for many in our communities. Examples of this include new laws relating to cybersecurity, digital sovereignty laws in various countries, and various privacy-related regulatory developments globally, and that's to cite just a few. The RIRs provide opportunities for their communities to better understand and engage with governance processes across the internet governance spectrum, from global technical governance venues like ICANN, to intergovernmental venues like the ITU, to national and supranational legislative and regulatory processes. At the same time, we see some regulators and legislators working hard to embrace a more multi-stakeholder approach through public consultations and engagement with different stakeholder groups. As focus points for our communities and their interests, the RIRs are working to respond to such efforts and demonstrate the clear value to be gained from a more consultative and open approach to policymaking in the internet space. The RIRs experience underscores the importance of national and regional internet governance initiatives and venues and forums that focus on specific internet governance related issues. The IGF must continue to ensure that it incorporates, reflects and builds upon the work done at these levels to better fulfill its potential as a venue for multi-stakeholder consideration of those issues that, in different ways, have the capacity to affect the entire global community. It's in this slide that we're closely following the discussions of a multi-stakeholder high-level body as recommended in the Secretary General's Roadmap for Digital Cooperation. Such a body could ensure wider knowledge and understanding of the IGF and its deliberations, ensuring that calls for input, workshops, IGF venues and dates are widely communicated and have a proper place in the wider digital cooperation roadmap. However, the composition of any leadership group is an important issue and should reflect the global and diverse nature of the internet and its users. We believe that the members of all multi-stakeholder leadership groups should be proposed and validated by their communities. This ensures that members bring deep insight and knowledge based on their subject matter expertise and discussions happening within their respective communities. The MHLB could also be a key additional fundraising facilitator all the various IGF Plus initiatives, including the IGF itself. It's therefore critically important that if an MHLB is established, it should be with a distinct and well-defined role, with the goal of ensuring that the illumination gained by our IGF can reach all parts of the global digital governance ecosystem. Thank you.